I think we're live. So this is Jeff Lichtenstein. Uh, Daisy the cat has decided to uh, to moderate for me today. Daisy, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go somewhere else today, though. So yeah, she likes the she likes the computer. Um, so this is Jeff Lichtenstein with Echo Fine Properties. Uh, we are live today, um, and we're gonna see three homes today, and we're also gonna talk about the buying process and what's going on out there in 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 the Corona world. So Rob Moore, who does our social medias um, on my left, um, and Simeone, and give a wave. Other hand in. Right as, there you go. Uh, Craig Hager, Craig the leg is with us. Craig, can we see some leg? Oh, we've got a Zoom half leg. Uh, Sarah Swanson, who's our client concierge, is with us. And Will Dean, the Dean of Rentals, is with us. Will does a lot of rentals and is going to uh, give us what's going on in the rental world out in, out in Evergreen. Um, so we're going to start with Craig. Um, Craig, you're out in, um, you're out today in, um, you, let's put you off mute. I'm in Landmark today. Yeah, so tell us what's going on and, and tell us a little bit about Landmark. So Landmark is a full service centralized luxury condo right in downtown Palm Beach Gardens. And when I say centralized, it's literally right next to um, the Gardens Mall, right on PJ Boulevard, right between all the best restaurants along the strip. Um, you also have downtown at the gardens, which is um, walkable. And I'll kind of show you some photos as we kind of move along and you know how you can kind of maneuver around and everything else. But the landmark itself is three luxury towers. You can kind of see it from there. The towers are broken up as A, B, and C. And A being the one all the way right there. And then B being the center stack and then C closest to the road. Um, Full service, what I mean by that is it's 24-hour valet. There's 24-hour concierge down at the bottom. You don't park your car. You get out, valet parks your car for you. When you're ready to get back in your car, you can either call down, they'll bring it and have it set out in front, or you just walk down and they know exactly where your parking spot's at. It basically lives like a country club, which is really cool because the ladies at the front desk, all the maintenance staff, everyone else will know you by name You know, as time goes on. Um, so it's very welcoming, it's kind of cool. The other big feature to this building is it is a pet friendly building, not just little dogs, but you can have big dogs in there. And that's, that's hard to find in our area. Um, many of these wise it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big deal because the, there's such a giant percentage of the population that has, uh, that has dogs and, and it, it also, it all of all sizes. So for resale purposes, it makes it move faster too. Right. The thing is, too, the owners can have dogs, but renters can't have dogs, but you do see a lot of dogs being walked all around the community. They'll take them out to the front and walk them around the green spaces or they'll take them out back. There's a little walkway, a little step down to go around a big path around downtown the garden. So it's, it's nice. Um, some of the amenities areas, there is a full service gym. Here's just one of the shots. This will also walk out to the pool area, which is not in this photo, but it's on the back side of it. The pool looks like this. Um, behind that wall, you're overlooking Lake Victoria, which is the big lake right at downtown at the gardens. And then if you're lucky enough to be on the backside of some of these units, um, they will capture that view as well, which faces directly south. There is a full, full movie theater area. Cool thing about this is you can rent it out whenever you want, besides, I believe, the Super Bowl. So they kind of have that open to the building. So my sister once upon a time lived in the building and for, I think it was game seven, the Miami Heat were playing, um, I want to say it was Golden State a couple years ago. And some of our family members just rented it out. We brought our bottles of wine down there and just kind of enjoyed the game seven by ourselves on a big theater with surround sound and everything else. Um, chairs lay all the way back. It's, it's cool. Um, let's jump into the unit. This is a Drake model. Um, two bedrooms, two and a half baths, a little over 1,800 square feet. Um, the views of the terrace, you're going to face directly south, and you'll have some eastern exposure off to the left. Now, it's hard to see from the photos, but you can see a peekaboo of the ocean off in the distance, which is cool. So I think from floor 10 and up, you start to see that. So we're on, four, we're on floor 14 out of 15 inside the A tower. So A and C have 15 floors. The 15th floor in those two towers are the penthouse. So you're right below that. There's really nobody above you. Um, if we flip through it, we're in kind of like the living room area. They have it set up as a dining room off to the right. And that is our front door. 
you kind of see where that light is. So right when you walk in, everything's totally wide open and then you'll have, you know, the rooms are split apart on opposite sides of the, the unit. Um, if you can kind of see, I think I have a photo. Dining room area, I'll, I'll show you what I'm trying to talk about in a second. Dining it, room by area. the way, does this, does this come furnished as well? That's not listed furnished, but I'm sure if you had, you know, interest in some pieces, we might be able to talk about something, but listed unfurnished. Kitchen's large, lots of cabinet space, double oven, stainless steel appliances. Um, let's see, I want to show you the bar area because that's kind of cool. So you got a little peekaboo area, you can kind of see through everything. And what I'm trying to get to is this area right here. So usually people will use this as like a little dining room area. And then where the dining room table is that they have, that's kind of like a breakup living room, family room. So it's kind of an awkward space. They utilize this perfectly and put a big bar area to sit at and kind of, you know, maneuver around and talk to. So it breaks it up and that way the unit lifts a little bit better in my opinion. Um, it's not just kind of awkward space. Master bedroom, crown molding, again, you're facing south. Big terrace, there's one big balcony that kind of just walks across the whole thing. So that's connected to the living room area as well. And then your master bathroom, um, dual vanities, seamless glass shower, and you'll have a hidden toilet back behind my head somewhere. This is the second bedroom they're utilizing as like a makeshift office. That's so a pull out. Um, no terrace on this one, but it's right off the living room. And this is your bathroom there. It's an ensuite, which is nice. And then you will is that, have- is that, all, is that all marble too? Yep, floors are marble, shower walls are marble. Everything's marble. And this is your half bath. So that's the guest bathroom. Then every bedroom, like I said, has an ensuite. And this is one of the views. So you're looking, like I said, wow. this one's closer to, the A tower is closer to the Gardens Mall. So nice thing about that is, you know, we're up higher, we're on the 14th floor. The traffic noise down there is gonna be quiet because the C tower tends to have the heavy traffic because they're closer to that, that main road right there where everyone kind of drives to the mall. So we're looking, you can kind of see the buildings off in the distance, that's Singer Island. You can also see the water club. It's hard to tell from where you're at, but you see everything. Um, around 4th of July time, what's really cool is you stand on the balcony you will see fireworks pop off all along Singer Island, all throughout the country clubs, just everywhere. I mean, you're getting shows from all angles. It's cool. Uh, but you can see, you can see the buildings out there, but you can see the ocean from this part, I promise you. This is to the right now, that's Lake Victoria. And that's basically looking over the Hilton. And now you see downtown the gardens over there where Yard House and- Right, so Cheesecake Factory is right where the- Cheesecake Factory is right, 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 right Yeah. That's the other okay. side. So you can see like the little, the triangles over there, that's the Devasta yeah. Towers. Um, that's pretty to look at it. You know, they're all glass. So when the sun rises, the buildings kind of turn like an orangish color, kind of like that roof line right there. Well, you people don't realize also when you're on an ocean, you know, sometimes I, I just want to be like on an ocean view on a condo. And the, um, even if you're looking at the intercoastal, sometimes that view or these views are prettier at night, especially because you get the lights where right. the ocean is all, it's just pitch black and you don't see anything. Yeah, there's right. activity. It's not as eerie and creepy. Yeah, you get cool, you know, sound effects you know, from the water splashing in, but this is, there's stuff to look at. It's not as eerie feeling to some people. Um, that's kind of a back angle shot. So we're in the, where's my hand going? We're in this building right here and we're kind of up here in that area. You can kind of see the pool as well down there. And that's kind of on the third floor overlooking Lake Victoria. You've got some gazebo walkouts. If you want to go out there and sit. And then you see that big walkway coming from the building across the water that's taking you to downtown of the gardens. And you can walk around a path, which so you'll walk basically connected to that hotel over there and you just do a big lap. If I had to guess, it's, it's probably a mile along. I never never measured it, but I'm guessing. Um, well, and, there, and, what, you know, and a lot of people who move here, you get a lot of people from the country clubs where they want to downsize and, um, and just be, have more of um, you know, an apartment you know, type of living but they want to have some kind of proximity to, to, to action. And this, you, you can go, you can walk over to Whole Foods, you can walk over to Cheesecake, um, the movie theater, ice there. cream, the movie theater, there's all sorts of life and the mall is right next door, you know, the other side. And they're building a crazy, crazy gym. If you're familiar with Lifetime Fitness, there's only one of them, at least in our general area, which is down in Boca. So that is going to be built right over in downtown at the gardens as well. And that's going to be three stories. It's like a club. Um, it's definitely one of the best gyms that you can possibly go to. So that's going to be walkability right there as well. What else, what else are they building in there right now that they're talking about? 
So that's it as far as like plan, plan, set in stone. You know, there's talks of them, you know, redoing some stuff down at downtown at the gardens, but nothing's ironed out. It's kind of just, you know, verbal talks at this point. Um, so we'll see where it goes. But as far as construction is going, they're actually building lifetime right now. Um, you know, I showed you a couple of minutes in the gardens. One thing I didn't show you is they've got some terraces that wrap around the whole building. So there's some barbecue areas, there's a little putt putt, there's some bocce ball. Um, told you there's a club room. So if you want to have it a catered event, they've got a whole kitchen area set up where you can have you know, your events catered and you can bring in your own chef and they can kind of do their things for board meetings or whatever you want it to be, a birthday dinner, whatever it is. Then downstairs, they have another room if you just want to do, they have card games, they have poker tables, they have pool tables, they have ping pong tables, and that's all close to the pool. So you can walk out and do your thing. There's some saunas in the locker rooms. Um, it's a full service, luxury, luxury building. They take care of everything. It's newer in our area. Essentially, it's 2007 built. So for our area, it's kind of new as far as condos go. Um, Is it, what's a hurricane protection? Everything's impact windows. They're solid, heavy doors. The building itself was built by a luxury, luxury home builder back in the day. Um, it was his first luxury condo that he did. And so he went above and beyond like he would a single family home. So it's got some really cool features in here. You know, multiple generators. If something were to go out, one kicks back on so you're not stuck. Um, all the stairwells are pressurized. So if there was ever a fire, you get in the stairwell, you know, you can be fine and you know, you're not going to lose oxygen anywhere. So it's, there's a lot of cool little features that you wouldn't think of, but it's a very well manicured professionally taken care of building. You know, and you, and you can, you can walk to, you know, there's between the mall and there, there's, you know, well, you know, probably 20 different restaurants and eateries to do and all these things. You're probably 10 minutes from the beach, um, yeah. you know, max, um, and you're by 95 turnpike. Um, you know, good distance, you, you know, really, really to everything and all, and all sorts of, and all sorts of shopping and things too. Um, yeah, Trader you know, Joe's, you have Whole Foods, you've got the Gardens Mall, right. there's a lot of great restaurants in there. Um, and what, what is, the, what is the one that you're uh, representing costs and what is the range in the building altogether? So I'm at 565 for this particular one. Like I said, you're, you're essentially right below the penthouse and it doesn't come on that often. You know, price ranges in those two towers, the penthouses have sold for a million and one, um, but they're much larger units. And then, you know, you've had the B tower units on for 2.7 million. So they're, you know, call it two plus million down to $400,000. I've seen the ranges, depending on where you're at inside the building. So that does play a big factor. Okay. And uh, Craig, if someone wants to get in touch with you, uh, can you put your number up? I sure can. Boom. So uh, Craig can be reached at 561-246-1789, Craig at echofineproperties.com. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Craig is uh, from Michigan originally, um, majored in economics, um, just um, turned uh, 18, is it, the other day? Yeah. Uh, Craig, you know, Craig just turned 30, so he's been here for, for seven years, and so wealth of knowledge and you know, gets an early hard, hard worker. Um, um, anything you'd like to add, Craig? Any Not flossing you can, you, any flossing tips you can give? Oh yeah, just it's all in the hips. Just move those all hips. All in the <laughs> hips. All right, so we're now going to go out. Um, we're going to go out to Ann. And Ann, you're in um, you're in PGA National um, yes. today. Yes, yeah, I so am. Tell, you're in Windermere, so tell us all about it. Well, Windermere consists of 132 townhomes and condominiums. By, the, by the community. way, who, who, who's with you today? Oh, can you see the? Oh, this is Kiki. I'm sorry, Hello, Kiki. I, I didn't know you could see her. A Kiki could meet sushi or Daisy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep her quiet so she doesn't bark. She's very um, good. Yeah, but uh, Windermere is a lovely community. As I say, there's 132 units in the community. This particular one is a two-story, two-bedroom, both upstairs with a, a beautiful uh, Florida room. And I'll show you some of the pictures uh, from that as well as some of the uh, community photos. Let me get to the first one here. This is the front entrance view, one car garage, and it has a little courtyard inside. My client go, um, grows some really cool plants in there and um, has updated so you can sit outside. It does have access from the kitchen and the main entrance. Here's the roof shop. By the way, the roof is new. It's uh, well, it was installed in 2013. So the home has many um, upgrades. 
Here is a view from the backyard. And there's a, yeah, I, lo I love that part. It's like a park-like setting back there and they have all these walking trails and it, some people yeah, go and walk on the golf course at night. Yeah, there's one right there too. It's a really lovely, very quiet. Um, it, it's just a, it's a, just a lovely view. Here's the entryway, the courtyard that I had mentioned, and here is sliders. Impact she does have plants. a lot of plants. Yes, she has a lot of plants. Um, she loves the plants. There's a lizard, but look out, there's a lizard behind you. It's like a gecko, yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> she has updated the entire kitchen. It's uh, black quartz, stainless steel appliances, and the appliances have an additional five-year warranty. They were, um, and the kitchen was uh, renovated in 2018, so it's almost brand new. White shaker style cabinets with a cut through to the dining room here from the sink so you can enjoy the view outside from the kitchen. Those shaker cabinets are great. They're in style and they'll, ne they'll never go out of style. Never go so. up, right, right, really nice. Really we just nice. did our kitchen and we used the same, you know, same type of thing. Yeah. Here's a, a photo of the uh, living room. Another view, stairway to go upstairs, and we'll get to that shot in a minute. So it's a generous size room. Here is the dining area, the cut through from the kitchen, and the main entrance is here to the left. And there's the dining room the cut through to the kitchen. And here is what we call the Florida room. It's almost 300 square feet of additional space, not under air. However, the sliders open up and you get all the air conditioning, but it's such a lovely area to sit in. It's the whole width of the home and very deep. My client uses it for her um, home office. And it's really nice to just sit out there because you have the views of the garden area with the walking paths. And it's just a really lovely area to um, enjoy the outdoors and, and look out. Here's and, the master, oh, I'm go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. Here's the master bedroom. And it has a um, Juliet, Julian balcony and packed glass. It's really cool to stand out there and you look over to the gardens as well. Ensuite bathroom here as well. It was renovated. Here is the second bedroom, same Juliet balcony and pack glass. And it's just steps away for the second bathroom upstairs. Very generous sized bathrooms as well. Here's the front view from the evening in the evening. Here's the we do, we, you know, we do all um, night shots, the yes. real night shots for every listing that we do. And tomorrow we're going to talk more about photography, you know, later on, you know, towards like 1245 or one o'clock. So we're going to interview our photographer and just go through different shots that what she's looking for. It'd be kind of interesting, but we, we do that for each one. And you get some pretty sunsets also in the back of this house. Yeah, very nice. And it's just got a lot of ambiance. The driveway, it's a Spanish inspired um, unit. And it has a beautiful gate and little uh, Spanish inspired um, tiles. And it's just really, really a lovely unit. I forgot to mention there's a half bath downstairs and this has been updated as well. Um, I don't have a photo of the tile, but it's a black and white tile. It's very, very nice. It's a marble. And um, let me see, there's a another photo I can share. Here's another close-up view of the, of the garage. And again, it's impact glass as well as uh, the garage and the windows and doors and the slider. There's a slider here that comes out to the kitchen. So it is an eat-in kitchen. I'll show the, the photo from the other end of the kitchen again. So directly across from this side is where, where I am sitting right now is a slider access to the courtyard. So you can grill out there, um, you know, go have you know dinner out there. She has all her planters and a little spot to sit. So it really is a very charming unit. The asking put, price is $345,000. This community does have a community pool and a cabana area, just steps away, not very far. You can walk. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely community. I'll also show you some shots of the PGA community for those people that 
for someone that's interested in joining the uh, clubhouse. It's got great facilities. And I just put the video on. Oh, as, great. So you can see the clubhouse right from the sky yes. and we can go back to, yeah. And there was a new person, a Canadian company that just bought the resort. And um, this company is going to be investing a lot of money in the resort, adding rooms, updating the facilities, restaurants. This is, yeah, this is the entrance right now. We just saw the famous bear. Um, it was also, that bear was also at the, at the bear trap on the, uh, the, on the Nicholas course. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's four restaurants in PGA National. Um, and then there's a members only clubhouse. That's the, that's the uh, resort and, and spa. Um, those are Ann's kids that are in the in playing. <laughs> the no, 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 they're not. But the, um, what's interesting about PGA, there, there's, the, there's the bear trap. Um, what's interesting about PGA is you don't have to join um, the, uh, the club at, at, at all. So the, um, each owner has a choice if they want to join the club or they don't. So it's a completely optional type of a thing. And anywhere else in any of the country clubs, for the, you have to join the club and then you have to sell, um, the membership has to sell in order for you to sell the house. Where in here, it's totally unencumbered. Um, so that's a, that's a big deal. And if you want to join, you have all sorts of choices of memberships, from a golf membership to a sports, to a tennis, to a social membership. It's, um, some of these memberships are, are very inexpensive and you get your full money back um, when, um, um, when, uh, when, when you leave as well. The, uh, the membership cost, I've put that uh, a link there and you can look on our, on our website. We have a whole uh, spreadsheet that gives all the costs and all the things that are included. There, you can see the tennis courts over there. They have a huge um, tennis court and now a pickleball um, you know, program as well, but they have 20 plus uh, clay courts, uh, multiple pickleball courts. It's, um, uh, they have a giant croquet club. A lot of um, people like to uh, croquet and they have a lot of tournaments over there. The Honda Classic um, on the PGA, it's been the host to for years. And we get all the good golfers, you know, come out because the Tiger, uh, Phil Mickelson just moved to the area, uh, Rory McIlroy. Um, half, the, half the PGA people live here because, the, A, the taxes are, are, are 0% in, in Florida. And uh, the weather's great and there's every which, you know, kind of golf course um, available. But if you don't play golf and you want to join, um, they have all sorts of card games, social activities, uh, parties, um, all, you know, food. Uh, you get discounts at the, at the resort. Um, PGA in total, um, you're looking at, this is in Villa Dest, which is actually across the street from Windermere. It's a zero lot line community. Right now we're in Preston, which these are estate homes. Um, and then, then there's one of the, the, the golf courses. But the prices range anywhere from, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars for, for a starter home or a villa you know, on up into the, into the, um, into the millions for estate homes. There's uh, 4,961 homes altogether. There's 43 um, different communities in PGA. Uh, they, there's a one-time charge of $740 a year for PGA National um, itself that covers three uh, manned uh, booths. It's fully gated from 9 p.m. till 6 a.m. in the morning. And then there's security that is around the clock in PGA National, and then they have all these open areas and reserve views and parks. Um, it's very easy living. You're, you're, you're directly across the street from the Turnpike entrance on the PGA side and all the restaurants that PGA has to, to offer by the mall and, and uh, you know, where Craig was telling us about earlier. And then on North Lake where they have all the, there's restaurants there, there's a 95 and the Turnpike's not by there. And then, you know, that's where you do your Costco runs or do a quick, you know, run where about 15, 18 minutes from, you know, from the airport and, and downtown West Palm Beach with the Kravitz Center. There's lots of culture. Air, the, the, the beach is about 15, um, you know, minutes, you know, minutes away. But that gives you some information more about PGA. You know, there's 2,340, you know, acres altogether. They built two homes since we've done that. So those are estate homes where you'll see that. And um, so that gives us a little bit of information about uh, PGA um, National. Um, and can you put up your information so if somebody would like to um, get in touch with you? Absolutely. There, there she is. Anne um, has Please, been. Thank you. Yes. Anne has been. Anne has Anything, been in the area. Please for, feel free to. Call. Anne, Anne has been in the area for twenty years. Um, she um, has a business background. She um, 
Um, but they've been vacationing here before she moved here on a permanent basis. She's lived in PGA uh, mm -hmm. National. She knows it really well. She lives in Ibis and knows all the, the country club, um, you know, communities in and out. Um, a lot of fun to work with um, and really cares about her clients. Uh, her, if you want to email her, it's ann at echofineproperties.com uh, or 561-818-5215. And, uh, and that's Anne. Any, and anything else to, you would like to mention? No, just that uh, PGA is a great location, as you mentioned. This is a great townhouse. Please give me a call. Love to give you a tour. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Anne. So now we're out to Will Dean. Um, hey, Will. Hey, thanks for joining me here at Evergreen. Uh, and so, so Will Will does a, a ton of rentals um, and sales and investment property uh, for us, upwards of over 100 rentals, you know, a year, and uh, probably the hardest working guy, you know, that I that I know. Um, you know, so Will, you're out at Evergreen today? We're in Evergreen today at 633 Castle Drive, which is- And what is that, and what is that on the market for? That is on the market for $3,800 per month. It's a furnished annual rental. Uh, which is in impeccable condition. It's not one of the beat up rentals that uh, you often see that have just been abused. This is this is in mint condition. Um, the home's just over 1,800 square feet under air. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Uh, it's been fully renovated. Uh, from the kitchen, the uh, owner took down a wall. So when you walk in, you can see the lake views. Um, quartz countertops, uh, updated backsplash, porcelain tile would look throughout the first floor. Uh, and, and, and everything comes as, as you see it. So you just bring your toothbrush and clothes and you're good to go. Uh, so it's, all, it's fully furnished with everything? Only furnished with everything you need to do. And uh, as you can see, color scheme is white, light, bright, and happy. So and then, that's a great house. And then um, um, what, what kind of floors are those too? Those are porcelain wood look tiles uh, that were installed after he purchased the home. So yeah. they did a lot of renovation in here. Uh, yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. We're not seeing so much wood today anymore. The porcelain, the, the, the flooring that's, that's tile is so easy to take care of. Um, we, we took it in our house where we had carpeting. We ripped everything out where we had, old, you know, some older tile. Um, we, we've done it and the look is great. And it's so easy to, you know, take care of. It doesn't trap all the things that, you know, that carpeting does. And what's nice about the porcelain tile versus ceramic and others is, is porcelain tile is uh it's it's not as porous it's also uh going to be able to take the most wear so if you you can chip tile ceramic tile um and it's just the the, the glazing with porcelain tile it's it's solid through so uh, it's going to wear a lot better for areas where there's a lot of traffic and, and communities where there's a lot of traffic um so out the, out the back you're you have a a, a lake view uh, which is, is out there, but all higher end. So from the fixtures to the furniture, uh, everything's, everything's high end. That's the, uh, and that's the entrance. So Evergreen, family friendly community, uh, clubhouse, you have a lot of, uh, a lot of amenities in there. Uh, in the master, which is overlooking the, preserve or the uh, the lake that's a king size bed and that, that overlooks the uh, the lake area the bathrooms updated um, and you get you get a lot of light in here a lot of light um, this is great for a family who's going to come relocate uh, maybe they haven't sold their home. And, and they've rented it furnished. A lot of people are, are renting their home, uh, maybe up north, if they're not able to sell or don't necessarily want to sell their home and coming down to Florida for 
a year to test things out, whether it's a job or just they want to change. And this gives you a good opportunity to, to try before you buy. Uh, yeah. in, in that's that's really updated and clean moving condition. Do, do, do you have any um, um, pictures of Evergreen of any of the clubhouses or anything with you at all? Those I do not. So uh, Evergreen, um, Evergreen itself, though the community, it, and I put the link so you could take a tour of Evergreen on our on our website. Um, but it's a it's really a full clubhouse with a lot of things to do in the in the clubhouse itself. I attended a wedding there actually once, but there's, um, they have a tiki bar um, that's in that's in Evergreen by the pool. It's a, a, a you know, really big resort pool, but they'll serve food there. It's the only area that's a non-club that I'm aware of that, that has something like that. And then there's a whole um, squirt gun park and a volleyball and, and all sorts of things to do. So it's a very active club. The kids always drive, you know, they ride their bikes up and play basketball and it's all there's three different entrances they're all gated there's 888 homes all together but it borders on the, from hood road on the north um, to military trail on the east and then on the um, um i'm sorry that yeah on the, on the northern side it's uh, donald ross so it was uh, donald ross all the way to the south which is hood and then to military trail and there's three different three different entrances um you know all together I got my mom calling. Hey, hey, mom, I'm on. I'm on live with Zoom. Say hi to Will. Okay, I will. Okay, my mom has information, so I'll call her back after the after the Zoom. Will. Um, so, um, what? Tell us a little bit about you know you you offer so many rentals. What? How the a little bit how the rental range works if you're looking for um, a house or a condo and and how seasonal works versus rental market is really it's extremely competitive uh, and if you're a tenant you think of yourself as you're going into a job fair the rentals that are desirable are in short supply uh, a lot of people are renting it, it's different than rentals were 20 years ago people are renting in the uh, the starter range 2000 2500 3000 but the rentals will go up in, in our market as far as an annual rental around up to fifteen thousand dollars per per month for the year. And, and the tenants can potentially buy, but they're not looking to buy. They're looking for flexibility. They're looking to change options. Uh, so it's, it's, it's changed a lot. Um, with that, the competition's gotten more fierce. Um, and so for an annual rental, uh, you know, they're, they're, able to pick and choose their tenants. So um, you're, you're probably going to be stacked up against others uh, and things will rent relatively quick just because the demand's so high. And right. And then the seasonal months, it's, it's, you know, usually the people who take the full season um, or three or four month rental go first, then the, you know, the per person who's doing a one, you know, or two month and trying to specific, trying to do a specific, it's, it's, you know, that's harder, but we're seeing more demand. Interesting in the went on the rental side, We've had a lot of scrambles where people have been down here. Will's been busy. I know we've talked about it where people um, didn't want to go back up north. And so they've been extending their leases for a month or two. Um, I know people who are, I was talking to a friend in Chicago the other day and they're, they, um, they have a home in, um, in Delray and they're talking just about staying the whole, you know, just staying down here, you know, uh, for the whole, for the, for the whole year at this point. And, um, so we get a lot of that type of thing. And I think we're going to, we're, we're talking about, we, we know from the Northern States, it really an acceleration of movement here. Um, mm -hmm. and, re and rental was a nice way to also check out where you want to be. But when we came here, we rented, um, for the first two years before we ended up purchasing. And if we didn't know, we may have chosen something a little different. So there's, there's some things like that. That's, um, that's kind of neat. Um, Anything else that you see going on right now in the in the rental market in that's that's different in this um, in this quarantine era? I think the 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 people that can stay are staying where they are, but I think come June first, uh, there's going to be a lot more movement than there typically is, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the the job losses and the the income cuts and and then the demand. Well, rental, I remember rentals got crazy, you know, in those types of markets before, 
Hey, Anne, by the way, David uh, Barron says hello. She's waving back, but she's muted, so we can't hear her, David. Uh, but Anne definitely says, uh, says, uh, says hi. The I'm sorry. Rentals are hi. How are you? There you go. Um, Will, Thanks for joining. Re uh, Will, rentals are also pretty, they can be complicated in terms of contracts and, and doing everything. So just um, what do you do for a client, you know, when you're taking somebody on both on the listing side and the buy side? So rentals are a lot more complicated than sales. There's a lot more moving parts and they move a lot quicker, uh, much quicker the, the time frames. Um, when I'm working with a tenant, I'm explaining to them before we're even looking at homes or condos, what the process is and what they can expect and that they need to move quick if they want something. And the mentality that you should have with a rental, assuming you're just buying, you're, you're buying yourself time. And so the things and that there's, are- and there's, and there's not a lot of time to go out and it never has been. You don't really go out and look at 10 homes. You know, you, you can get a feel for a little bit. But there's also in the MLS, there's also a lot of bad information mm -hmm. that's in there. And there's a lot, people, you get realtors who are practicing real estate and they really, what they really do is they sell homes and they don't do rentals and they put, they get a rental or two here and then they never go back and click that it rented. So people on the buy side, um, and we have, a, our, our website's pretty accurate where it gives it the, the, we give it just how we see it in the MLS. So it gives the whole layout of what it is per month and the, and the restrictions. But there's an awful lot of bad information on the rental side. And Will's really good at navigating that of what's available and, and what's not because he's, that's, you know, his main focus. A lot, of, a lot of bad information, a lot of things that aren't updated. It can be confusing too. If you see all these rentals that are available, when are they available? Are they annual rentals? Are they seasonal rentals? Are they off-season rentals? What is the rate for the season? What's the rate for the off-season? Uh, will they rent the home unfurnished? A lot of questions that aren't uh, explicit as far as the, the advertisement. And like Jeff said, things aren't updated. So you may see a bunch of rentals that rented a long time, a long time ago that just don't get updated. Um, then opportunities you see that are homes that are listed for sale and that are also listed for rent. Obviously, realtor doesn't want to rent the home. So that there, there's, there's a lot of loops and hoops. Um, that, uh, that apply. Also restrictions in the community, pets, uh, community like uh, Craig, the, Craig the Leg, his landmark. Uh, and the landmark, pet friendly, uh, can have relatively large dogs, but if you're a renter, no pet. Um, yeah, Harbor, Harbor Oaks, just a little bit down the road, same thing, pet friendly, can have a relatively large dog. If you're a renter, no pets. So, Things may be advertised and it may be true. It may be a pet friendly community, but most people don't know the ins and the outs. So that there's a lot of bad information that uh, that applies and that that's advertised incorrectly. Hey, uh, David was asking a question, um, you know, on, on, on Facebook, is there opportunities in Singaroran to buy and flip? And, and there is a um, couple things though. You really have to make, you know, you have to, Remember when you're flipping something, you know what are you what are, what value are you adding to it? So if you buy it at market value and you flip it the next day, there isn't. You're going to be out the cost of um, of paying the realtor us and um, and your closing costs, which are typically like around 1.3 percent. So it it depends when you're buying it. I always look at it like your it your your investment. It's not really. I've always looked at a home as never just an investment. It's, it's a place to live in and it typically over time and through, you know, a lot of bad markets that we've been here, it's went up, you know, uh, went up well. Real, real estate always has been that way. Um, but in Singer itself, there's not a lot of new, there's not going to be a lot of new construction. It's kind of built out at this point. Um, so I think from there, it's, it's good. And we have a, a, a giant amount of growth through 2045. So the supply, the demand side is going to... Um, exceed the supply side on an ongoing basis at this point. That's, that's one thing. Um, but a lot of times where you make your money too on a shorter or medium term is if you take something and you remodel it, because a lot of people don't have the vision for it or they don't want to do it or don't want to pay the capital expenditures 
of fixing um, of fixing a place up. So there are there are times where somebody you know like right now we'll get calls and somebody wants to get rid of a, a you know a secondary home. And usually, like when we get into the summer months, those are good months to buy a home. Although right now it's it's although we're going to talk about it, we are seeing um, we've had a we had four homes that sold went under contract over the weekend. Um, we got an offer on one today that I think we'll 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 put together. And um, and the amount of inquiries we're getting has ticked up um, dramatically in the last last week. Not even so much in volume, but in qualified uh, people where they're wanting to get into a car right now and go, you know, look at a look at a property. Um, so Will can answer a lot of questions on the, you know, on the rental side. Anything you you want to know about rentals when internally in our office when there's a rental question. We always go to we always go to Will. Um, he is in at you know seven a.m. He, he leaves late. Um, he's up late. Where can we see Isabel? Oh, you're at you're you're not even you're not by Isabel. I, we need to you know see a new baby. Will just is a is well, a new she's, daddy. She's fast asleep. Um, she's exercised her lungs and they're tired right now. All right, so no no is no Isabella. Um, today. Will, can you put up your, um, your, your contact information? So if somebody wants to get in touch with you, they can. Um, technical difficulty. My phone number is 561-602-7373. Again, 561-602-7373. And it's Will at Echo Fine Properties. And if there's a Will, Will will find a way. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's Will Dean, the uh, um, the dean of rentals, and we're going to talk now with uh, below me. You can see Sarah give a wave. Sarah, you got to unmute yourself. I think you are. Can you hear me now? Yep, you're live. And Wonderful. So Sarah has been with us um, for a long time. I, I think six years altogether now. Yep. And. Um, Sarah is our um, our client concierge. She she does more than that, but when these guys are tied up, so when Ann, Will, and and Craig, and, and me, and everybody are, are in the field, we when we're concentrating on you, we don't have time to get to the phone. Uh, but Sarah does. So Sarah, tell us a little bit about um, you know what you're doing, manning the phones, um, and and you know what what you're doing when a call comes in to handle a client and and hook them up with the right. Thing and tell us then also what's going on in the market right now. Yeah, so I don't know if um, you could see me, but I was hopping on and off the call. I had back-to-back -back Zillow leads that came in. So that's um, my life right now, which is good. The phones are ringing. Um, so my role, you know, lead comes in. Um, I stop what I'm doing. I get on the phone with them. If there's a bad phone number, I'm going to find you either way. Um, and then I'm reaching out. I want to figure out, you know, what the story is. What is, you know, the motivation for moving here? Um, you know, I've been on the phone with, I want to say, I was talking to Jeff about this, probably 10 to 12 active buyers in the past, probably about 48 hours or so, which to me, I was a little bit surprised, happy, but surprised. Um, you know, these are people that they're either in situations where they are renting right now and the renting, um, you know, is getting a little bit unfeasible for some. So they're looking into buying opportunities, especially because of the interest rates being as low as they are. Um, so I'm seeing that I've talked to, um, you know, there was a guy in New York, I was on the phone with this morning who, when you know, he's not moving today, but when all this is said and done, and it's safe to travel, he'll be moving down here. He's going to be moving his parents down here to a 55 plus community. Um, and then he's also looking for an investment opportunity for his business. So that's, you know, three things happening in one right there. Um, so what I'm seeing is, you know, another part of what I do is, you know, when I'm on the phone with these people, I want to match them up with an agent on our team who's going to best, um, you know, work with them best. I want to make sure their personalities work well together. Um, and yeah, so we're, you know, like I said, the phones are ringing right now. It's, um, you know, we're, there's also quite a few Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're getting, we're getting leads. We have one outfit that we, we, we have an exclusive with, which is a social media outfit. We, we do a lot of advertising. We have a database that's pretty big. Uh, we, we just did a, built our, our, our website, spent about 300 grand on it um, in the last few years. So th there's a lot that comes in there from Google and all sorts of social media that we do. And then we, 
We have a direct relationship with um, Zillow. We sit on some panels in Zillow and uh, we get a lot of, you know, a lot of those, you know, they're expensive, but they're ready to go. But like, I know you had one, you know, Suzanne took somebody out yesterday. Alyssa took somebody out yesterday. Oh yeah. Um, There's plenty of people that are ready to hop in the car. And I mean, obviously everybody's erring on the side of caution. I mean, almost every conversation just starts with a, you know, Hey, how are you doing? How's the quarantine going? Um, you know, just to check in on their well-being first of all, but there's plenty of people like exactly like you said, we've, you know, I've set several appointments in the past couple of days where these people are ready to put on a mask and gloves and hop in the car and, you know, not let the crisis stop them from, um, you know, missing out on a deal. People don't want to miss out on the interest rates. They don't want to miss out on, you know, inventories limited. So, you know, you have a first time home buyer who sees something, you know, at listed at $280,000, been on the market for three days. They want to go take a look at it. We're having such an inventory problem right now because you also have some sellers who are not looking to sell and, and, and move there, but we're having more people move to the area or they're in rental situations. But there was an article I saw in the, in the New York Times the other day, I think it was, it was this morning or yesterday, where people are leaving New York and they're not coming back. And right. they don't want to be in these urban um, you know, environments. Um, and then we have, the, we have our tax advantage here, which is, you know, which is, which is just giant. People who are just getting in the car, what, what's, and they, when somebody's looking right now, and I was talking to the, at Alton, the owner of, um, or the, the guy who does most of the sales there, and, and Barbara Horniak with our office, who does, does a lot there, they're not getting as much activity, but when they get somebody in, they're ready to go. And I think what you're saying, what, what you told me last night was, we're getting a lot of the, the same type of activity. Yep. No, we definitely are. I mean, I'm asking these people, one of the questions I'm asking is, you know, if you find the right fit, you know, what's your time frame? Are you looking to pull the trigger, you know, right now? Are you waiting 90 days, six months? These people are ready to go. Um, it's actually quite interesting. I mean, obviously, a couple of weeks prior, it was much quieter. We had a lot less inquiries coming in. I think everybody was still kind of in hiding and fear. Um, but it completely turned around last week. Um, I mean, I've had plenty of inquiries, you know, in months prior where they're, you know, they're inquiring, but they're not quite ready to go. And the conversations I've been having in the past couple of days are, you know, these people are ready to go. So it's, it's great. You're muted. Jeff, you're muted. <laughs> you're muted. Oh, See, I always have something I'm doing wrong. <laughs> but I, as we were talking, we just had a Zillow um, new buyer um, activity just come by where somebody saved some homes. So yeah. it seems like, and I know the amount of activity that we're getting, you know, it's just, there's been more inquiries, you know, also on the listing side where we did, um, we're, we're doing, I'm doing a listing presentation, um, right. you, know, to, you know, tomorrow that's, that's, you know, virtual. And we're kind of set up that way because we do in-house video, we do, um, we do virtual reality tours on every home that we do, and we can present in that way as well. Um, so that's 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 changed. But there's just overall, there's more inquiries than there has been in the last 30 days. It seems like there's just a, been a big spike in the last month. In the Definitely. Last, in the and, and same thing goes with the sellers. I mean, there's still people that have to move, um, and they're not going to necessarily let the crisis stop them from moving. There's buyers that have to buy that are ready to buy. Um so it's, you know, it's a good sign. It's great to see the activity. I mean, with the sellers too, it's interesting. It's, you know, it's really the same, um, the same approach with, you know, presenting a home evaluation to them, except for, you know, you're saying, you know, what's a good time to meet on Zoom um, and do it virtually. And people are very receptive to it. When, when a buyer's talking to you, what information should a buyer, who are your best buyers that are, it, in terms of, if you were calling yourself up, what information would you want to know that you're always asking for, whether it's, have they done a, um, have they gotten pre-approved for a loan? Have they, what, what should, thing should a buyer be, be asking you um, when, they're, when they're calling? Well, I mean, I always ask the, you know, the financing question, are you working with the lender? I usually will always send over Ryan Brown with cross country mortgages information, um, either way, just because they're a great local source for our buyers. Um, but, you know, I want to know motivation. I want to know lifestyle. You know, what's bringing you to the area? Um, is this a want to move because you are, you know, a snowbird, you're looking for a second home? Or is this a have to move? 
um, where you just took a new job down here. So I tried to figure out what the story is with the person um, first and foremost. Um, you know, obviously the technical parts of the home, you know, size, you know, different things like that. But um, I'd say more importantly, I feel like people probably buy a community before they buy a home. So for me, it's more, okay, you know, what's their motivation for getting down here? What kind of a lifestyle do they live? Um, different things like that. Are schools important? Um, you know, the financing aspect, like I talked about. And then it's really a matter of matching up that buyer to, you know, one of our agents. We have agents that specialize in all different, you know, areas of the county. Um, you know, if they're looking for a Boca Country Club, I would probably send them to Debbie Gross on our team. Um, you know, if they were looking in Ibis, I would probably send them over to Ann Simeone on our team. So it just really depends, um, you know, why they're moving here and, you know, what they're looking yeah. for. So we, like we have on our website, we have a page that has lifestyles and you can search out the communities and learn about equestrian lifestyles. And it will give you a spreadsheet of every home that or every community that has that in there. Or it's the same thing for beach communities or downtown and diving, dining. Like it'll, so that would like list what, um, um, what Craig was showing us earlier with like the Midtown, because that's like a downtown and dining um, area. And then we have another piece of the website that is a matching site and it matches the best community for you. And then the, the homes, because it's really like what you said, it's, it's the, I always ask a buyer um, who's new to the area, you know, tell me about you, you know, tell me about, you know, how do you, how do you envision um, your, your living here? Because they, they may zone in on a, on a particular home and it's the complete wrong fit because the community is the wrong fit, right. you know, for, for them. And it's a lot of that is figuring out. And sometimes I think you almost have to visit an area and stay for a weekend and figure out if you like this area or do you like, you know, something else, you know, different. And then even when you're down here, it's hard to figure out because there's 400 some plus communities just in this northern, you know, just in our area where, where we're, you know, where we're situated alone. Right, absolutely. Um, so that'll give you a little bit of um, information, you know, ab about us. Um, so Rob, what do we have coming up at, uh, at two o'clock? So at two o'clock today, I have a special guest, Rob Gronkowski from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh no, just joking. Just I'm joking. a Bears fan, we'll take him. Just joking. I have Christopher Mead. From C and J Air Conditioning, he's a local, um, you know, air conditioning repairman in Palm Beach Gardens. And Chris Burke will be joining him on that uh, on that interview at two o'clock today. Um, and then I'm just gonna fast forward quick to tomorrow. I don't know, Jeff. Can you see me? Can you switch me on the? Screen? I, I can. You want me to put you on the the pin yeah, the pinpoint? Put put me on real quick. So, hang on one second here. Okay, go ahead. This. So again, we have Christopher Mead from C and J Air Conditioning, local uh, air conditioning repair service in Palm Beach Gardens, and Chris Burke will be joining him on that uh, interview at two. And then I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow, uh, just for a little quick thing. It's um, I don't want to say the name of the man yet that's going to join us, but uh, tomorrow's the NFL draft for all you people out there that follow sports, and we have a special Hall of Famer. NFL Hall of Famer that is joining us tomorrow at about 4.15. And he's going to talk about his time in the NFL and some uh, maybe when he got drafted and, uh, you know, maybe who the Philadelphia Eagles are going to pick for their first round selection. So that's tomorrow at 4.15. And since the – Daisy. And since the uh, – since the Bears have traded all their first round picks the last two years uh, – I'll be asking him some deep questions about the second round and, you know, what, uh, you know, scra you know, scraps that we can get as a, you know, for, uh, for, for my team. There's a Cleveland Browns fan, huh? That is the underdog. Yeah. You just scared my, you just scared my cat away. Rob. That is the underdog right there. Yeah. So for, um, and next week, by the way, we've already filled up. I think we have two we have two local businesses that we're highlighting each day, and we will go as long as it takes. So if you have a local business or you know somebody who's got a local business that does business here and that needs um, some airtime and some promotion, 
will be happy to uh, promote their business. We have a, a page where we do video on that we'll put that on and blast it into all of our social media as well as you know what we're doing uh, what we're doing live. Um, so for you know for that, just give um, send an email out to Rob at EchoFindProperties.com or you can Jeff at EchoFindProperties.com or, or or instant you know or just message us and we'll uh, we'll reach out you know, to you. So for uh, Rob Moore, myself, and Simeon, Sarah Swanson, and Will Dean, the Dean of Rentals. So long, everybody. Bye. Waverell. <laughs>